the program tonight. Van Wert head coach Keith Recker. First of all, uh, Keith, congratulations. Uh, you guys picked up a big win against Wyoming, a team that did not give up a lot of points and scored quite a few. You guys uh, put your own significant defensive effort on them, in the, particularly in the second half. Yeah, just obviously a huge win. Uh, you know, they won their first state championship, I believe, in 77 and have been very good, you know, since then. And, and I can remember even uh, in the, the early 90s, uh, St. John's played them. And I can remember my dad preparing for them with, you know, one or two D1 athletes and uh, and then get the chance to play them ourselves. So uh, they were all that, that we thought they'd be. They, they were a good football team. And it sounds like offensively you guys made some adjustments as well. Uh, Owen had kind of a rough start in the first half. Second half, he really turned it on, had over, I think, over 150 yards passing and a touchdown. What, uh, what did you do differently that led to that uh, change in the second half? Well, I think the, the big thing in the first half, we were trying to hit the big plays like we had all year uh, and just weren't able to connect for whatever reason. Uh, we just couldn't hit those. And, and we had a couple chances, really about three chances in the first half for scores. It just couldn't connect. And so uh, I thought, uh, you know, Owen and, and Coach Harding, who calls our offense, uh, did a great job. And, and you saw it on the uh, series that we scored to take the lead. Uh, just just quick passes and using our tempo to keep them off guard. And, and that's what it was. It, it was. Basically the same three, four plays, uh, but just doing it as fast as we can, trying to get them, uh, not allowing them to line up. Because when they can line up and see what we're in, Again, they're a good defense. They fly around to the ball, but if we can cause some confusion, and that's what ended up on the, the last score, uh, safeties were running across the field, weren't sure which way to go, and uh, we were able to catch it, pop it outside when, when Drew scored uh, the long touchdown. So I uh, thought they did a nice job in the second half of, of kind of getting that tempo going. If someone had a, a crystal ball five months ago and said that not only would your guys get a full football season in, six games though it was, but you still got a full season in, uh, not only that, but that Van Wert is in the state title game. Uh, what, what's your reaction to that? Uh, probably surprised, but, uh, you know, we, just because we don't and, – and maybe it's just me and maybe our guys do, but, but I don't look ahead to that stuff. It's like, how can we – you know, we started on June 1st, and, and my biggest focus was what do we need to do June 2nd to be better than we were on June 1st and, and trying to kind of figure that out and um, – and then, then do the same thing for June 3rd and 4th. And so uh, we try to do that as much as we can. I think our guys have bought into that uh, also with, with you know, if, if we got Elida week one, we'll finish uh, that game and then we'll be ready to go for defiance. And, and once we finish that, we'll go to the next one. Uh, so, you know, I've had that question just do we, do we, do we think we'd be in this spot? I, I don't think we thought about it because we were just worried about you know, kind of where we are now. And, and I made that mistake in 2015. We had a very good team and, and I, and I'll never forget it and uh, never let it happen again. Just always looking forward to the next game. I, we had a very good team. We lost five games by a total of 13 points, but every week it was like, if we win two out of our next three, we're going to make the playoffs. Well, we need to win uh, one of our next two and we can get there. And it was just always looking forward to stuff we couldn't control. And ever since that year, I'll never make that mistake again, and, and we won't. Not as many people able to go to the games as in years past. How has the Van Wert community shown its support for your team this year? Oh, uh, it's it's been just unbelievable. I mean, they, uh, so many people just sending emails. Uh, there's a guy that, that emails me um, every couple of times uh, from down in Nashville. Uh, I've heard from people out in Colorado, Florida, uh, let alone everybody in our own community who's, who's so excited and um, watching on TV and, and you see uh, videos of little kids, you know, jumping up and down in front of a computer screen. Um, it's just awesome. So, um, and then this week has just been unbelievable with, I mean, my wife got invited to make signs in, in our middle school art room and, and there's parents in there, um, parents putting balloons and signs up at the school and, and downtown and, and um, you know, our, our hardware and, and Chevy dealer have a van work flag going across the street. And just, it's really neat, all the excitement, all uh, everything that's going on. And, and our cheerleaders have been awesome decorating the school. Uh, it's just, it's awesome, unbelievable right now uh, to be a part of this. 
Uh, this is not the first state title or state title contending team you've been a part of when you were Delphi St. John's. You were a part of three of them. Uh, two of them were football uh, championships. What have you been able to use from those experiences to guide your team to its own state title game coming up on Sunday? Well, I think, uh, and, and I was fortunate to kind of come at the end of that. Um, you know, we, we won three straight there in 97, being the first one. 98 and 99, and I, I had the chance to be a small part. I was a sophomore on that 99 team, uh, and we had some really good seniors uh, on that team that, that allowed me to be part of it. Um, and so it, we were at the end of that, so it had kind of been uh, three in a row there, and, and they knew what to expect, and we knew going in what kind of attitude and, and kind of been there, let's do this again attitude. Um, but what I really took from all that is we want to make this as special as possible. Uh, for our players because we don't know if we're going to get another chance at this. Uh, hopefully next year we, we're right back here, but but there's no guarantees. So uh, we wanted to make this week as special uh, for our guys, as memorable for our guys and the community as we possibly could. And I told them this this is not a normal week. Um, there's a lot going on that's that, that wouldn't happen during a normal week. Uh, so enjoy it. Soak it in. Uh, we're going to spend the night at the hotel on Saturday. Again, whether it's the best thing, not the best thing, we're going to find out. Um, but just adds to the specialness of it. With championship games, you know, it, it, it's, it is that element of, hey, look, this opportunity doesn't come very often for a lot of high school teams. Has the, the idea, what you mentioned earlier and what I've heard other coaches talk about, is with everything going on, the possibility that a school could be shut down, that the, that the game you have this week – might be the last opportunity you have to play football. And, and now you're in a state title game, which is also its unique opportunity. It's going to be the last opportunity to play football for, for everybody, period, after this. Has having that aspect of it, that this is special, that this, is, this could be the last game you play mentality the entire season, uh, do you see that as helping your uh, preparation for this week in any way, shape, or form? Well, I think so. I mean, obviously, it's kept us focused all year. Uh, we're not able to look ahead just because you don't know what is coming ahead. And, uh, you know, and I think now uh, we're so happy, proud that we were able to get to this point, uh, one, just with our play on the field, and two, that, that we survived uh, the, the COVID situation and, and um, we're able to uh, keep our guys healthy and, and keep them, you know, out for the team and not quarantined and things like that. So, uh, I think that's pretty special and, and all kind of boiled down to um, doing the right things on and off the field. And, and now we're in a situation uh, where, where we get a chance to play for it all. And, and uh, there's been no issue with preparation and, and all that for this week, obviously. And, and, you know, going back to our time, uh, Coach Scholey with football at St. John's and Coach Norris with basketball, our team, um, they, they kept us focused and, and they knew that this is a fun week, but, also, there's a job to do, and we don't go down there to get silver. Uh, we're going down there to get gold, so uh, make sure we're doing everything in our power to do that. And so it, we really – our guys understand that. Uh, they know there's nothing else to prepare for. Uh, we've got one game left, win or lose, this is it. Um, and so we're going to do everything we can as far as preparation, effort, focus, uh, just getting ready for this game. What – what have you noticed about Lake Catholic? What are you, uh, what are you looking for from them on Sunday at noon? Well, the first thing you notice, and, and as you look at the seeds that have gone through, they're a 12 seed, uh, and, and people in their region maybe disrespected them quite a bit um, based on a couple losses. But you look at who they lost to, uh, Kirtland, who's playing for their own state championship this weekend, uh, Walsh Jesuit, a, a very good Division II team. So uh, their strength of schedule has prepared them for this point. Uh, you're going to see a really good quarterback, uh, kind of similar to ours. He'll run, he'll pass. Uh, they want to put the ball in his hands as much as possible, just as we do with Owen. Uh, and, and obviously, they're not here without a great defense. Uh, I think they play their scheme uh, as well as anybody that we've played all year. Uh, with how their defensive line plays. They have two All-State linebackers. They were All-State as juniors, and they're both back uh, this year. And then an athletic secondary, again, led their uh, quarterback is back there at free safety and, and makes you nervous when you, you know, you're chucking deep balls and, and he's sitting back there at 15 yards and you know he can range. So uh, very good defense. And, and then obviously they want to run the ball on offense with their running back, 
the quarterback and mix in some throws as they can. Van Wert and Lake Catholic meeting in the Division Four state title game. Head coach Keith Recker, coach, best of luck to you, and uh, good luck on bringing that championship home. All right, thanks. We look forward to it.